Hi there. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to add a digital lab to your Google Drive so that it can be used with Google Slides and Google Classrooms. I have already gone ahead and downloaded one of my free Snap Labs from my TBT store. The standard download location for all downloads on both a Mac and a Windows computer is the download folder. When I go to the download folder, the zip file that was downloaded from TPT was automatically decompressed into a folder that contains four individual files. On a Windows computer, you will have downloaded something similar. It will be the same file name, but at the end it will say .zip. In order to get a similar result um, where you have a folder that expands um, with the contents of your download, you'll have to right click that zip file and find the option that says extract all. Of the four files that are included in your download, the digital lab is the pptx file. So the digital lab was designed with Microsoft PowerPoint um, and it does work with PowerPoint, but it also works seamlessly with Google Slides. There are two ways that we can add the digital lab to our Google Drive. So there is an upload tool within Google Drive. It is this button right here that says new. If we click this and select file upload, we can upload that individual digital lab to our drive. So I'm in the downloads folder and I'm going to find that digital lab and I'm going to upload it. So this is a very easy way of being able to add that file to our Google Drive. One of the nice things about adding files to our drive using the upload feature uh, within a web browser is that we can actually add uh, the entire folder to our drive. Um, and if you have multiple Snaps Labs, you can actually add multiple labs to your drive at one time. So if I were to choose um, this button and select the folder upload rather than file upload, I could upload the entire lab, which would include all four files, um, to my Google Drive. And this would be a nice option if I have several labs that I'm looking to add to my Google Drive or if I'm looking to uh, add all of the contents um, from an individual Snaps Lab to my drive and I wanna keep it nice and organized in a folder. So if I choose this option, I can select upload. And now I'm not just going to upload an individual file, but the entire folder. So when we're uploading contents to our Google Drive, uh, the little box in the right -hand cor lower right-hand corner is gonna give us some information about how long uh, it will take for the upload to com be complete and when the upload is complete. When there is a green check mark, that means that the upload is complete. Uh, if you see a blue circle, that means that the upload is in progress. So here um, we've downloaded the individual lab and in here we've downloaded the entire folder. When I click on that folder, you can see that I have all four files that were included with the synthetic product Snaps Lab in my Google Drive. So just to keep things nice and organized, I'm going to add a new folder. I'm gonna call this Snaps Labs. And I'm going to keep all of the digital labs nice and, nice and neatly organized in this folder. So this is one way that we can add files to our Google Drive. Another way of adding files to our Google Drive is simply by dragging and dropping them into the drive. So here I have my downloads folder and here I have my Google Drive. I can simply take this file, I've highlighted it, and I'm going to have my mouse and I'm going to maintain pressure on the mouse and drag that file and drop it into my Google Drive. Just like previously, I'm gonna wait for this upload to complete. And when it's done, I'll have a green check mark. This upload is complete. And when I click the file, I'll be able to see that the um, digital lab is uh, fully ready to be used within Google Slides. So to review the digital labs, the writing, the directions, the information uh, that's within 
a digital lab is not editable. In other words, you cannot manipulate the text that is on these slides. The only thing that students and teachers can edit are, um, the only thing that can be manipulated is within these text boxes. So you can type here. Um, if there are sorting activities, students can sort, uh, can sort um, pictures and uh, other items if that is something that is included within a lab. Some labs have graphing activities um, and students can insert tables, graphs, charts, diagrams uh, within labs as well. You are able to remove uh, pages from a lab. So if you prefer your students not to complete a pre-lab or post-lab activity uh, within a lab, you can remove these pages as you, uh, as you desire. So I hope this video helps you better understand how to use my digital labs in Google Slides. If you have any additional questions, please send me an email at dsj.elkowitz at gmail.com.